Hello again, everyone. This time I want to show you a couple of cool tips and tricks for the Helix text editor. And the first one is pretty simple. So if you want to select a whole word, what you usually would do is type M-I-W, right? But that's a little bit long. So what you can do to make it a little bit shorter is to just use B-D. That way you can always get just the word basically. And that's the tip, that's it. All right, moving on to the next one. The next one is also kind of similar. So if you want to select to the end of the line, what you would usually do is VGL to go and to select mode and then go to the end of the line. But what you can also do is you can use T and then enter. There's a new line character there, so to speak. So that's why that works. And you're basically just going to that character and selecting up until that character. Another quick tip here is that uh, you probably already know that Helix by default uh, auto closes matching pairs, right? So if I type curly braces here, Helix will automatically insert the closing curly braces as, as well. But the question is now, how do I quickly get past this closing curly braces? Well, you could just use the arrow keys, but of course, what you can also do is just press tab. And that way you will always jump to the next point there. So very quick and simple tip. It's, pre it's probably pretty obvious if you already knew this, but if you don't, then I hope, I'm, I'm hoping it's helpful. All right, moving on. If you watched one of my earlier tutorials, you probably know that you can use right bracket and left bracket to, get, to have this menu pop up. And then you can move to, you know, the last change, the next comment, and so on and so on. But what you can also do here is that you can just add a new line, as you can see there below. So if I just press space, space here, then I will just insert a new line here. And the same goes for the opposite direction. If I do left bracket and then space, I can just simply and quickly insert a new line like this. All right, now let me quickly tell you about sorting in Helix. Let's imagine I have these numbers here and I want to sort them. So what I would do is just select them, then split my selection with Alt S into each new line being a, a, a selection. And now what I can do is just uh, use the sort command here in Helix, and then Helix will automatically sort this. And of course, you might have seen here that you can also do it the reverse. So if I do a dash R, then that will sort in the opposite direction. So that's pretty cool. And of course, if you see my, my other tutorial about this, you probably also know that you can just use the shell command for sort. So that would work this way. That, by the way, also just works if you don't want to split your selection. That just works on one large selection. So if I do this here, I can just pipe this selection into the shell command sort, and then it will be sorted like this. And you can even use this to randomize stuff. So if I do this here again, pipe, sort, and then dash capital R, that will actually randomize this. So if I run this again, you see it's randomized now. So that might come in handy here and there. All right, what you can also do is you can format text in a certain way. For example, here I have this text. If I select this, now I can type reflow, and then let's say 50. And now basically every line will have only 50 characters or less. And let me just do this again here. And let's say 80. And this way you can reflow text. Of course, you can also use the shell again for this. And that would work this way. So if I just pipe this again into a shell command, I can use the built-in FNT command, give the width of, I don't know, let's say 100. And now I have reformatted this text again. What you can also do is you can read a complete file into a current buffer. So if I just go here, type read, and then the file that I want to read, then I can just paste this whole file here into the current buffer. All right, moving on again, let's talk about the last thing that I want to mention. And that is you can add a bunch of numbers in Helix pretty easily. So let me show you how this works. Uh, of course, you probably know that you can increase, uh, that, you can, that you can increment and decrement numbers with Control-A and Control-X. 
And of course, you can also do this with uh, more than one number. So if I just make more cursors here, now I have a bunch of cursors here. And now if I do Control A, I can increment all these numbers at the same time and decrement them. So what do you do if you want to actually just insert a bunch of numbers, increasing numbers to be specific? Well, you can do that this way. You go into insert mode and then you press Control R and then you get this nice little menu here and this basically lets you insert a bunch of stuff here. So for example, you can insert the document path. You can insert all kinds of stuff here. The system clipboard, the primary clipboard, the selection contents, and so on and so on. What I want to show you right now is the hashtag or pound sign here. If you do that, you will insert the selection indices. That can be pretty useful if you have more than one. For example, if you have more than one selection, let me just create a bunch of new cursors here. Oh, wait a second. I actually need to, uh, let me just delete this here. So now let's create a bunch of new cursors here. So now I have a bunch of cursors here. And if I now go into insert mode and press control R and then type pound sign, now I will have inserted the selection in the in index of all of these selections. And this is a pretty cool way of just inserting a bunch of increasing numbers here in a quick way. All right, guys, that's it for this video. See you in the next one. Bye.